So let's just have a watch of a roll I had with one of my students. His name's Kirk. Uh, as you can see, it's a pretty solid unit. And first thing to look at is he likes to pass quite low and back, which is actually one of the hardest uh, postures to deal with. Um, so let's just have a look. Uh, there's a little sequence I want to show you at the start and at the end. Um, and then I'll go back to it, okay? So let's just have a quick look first. All right, so that was it for the butterfly sweep. So I should say, first off, when someone in Nogi, uh, my preference when someone is kneeling is to play a butterfly style guard. I've got a lot of things I do from there. I do like my half guard, and I mean, you're, you're actually gonna see me switch to the half guard for a moment, um, but depending on how someone uh, postures, I can switch between the half guard and the, the butterfly guard. Okay, so first thing, which I didn't like is that uh, Kirk managed to get his head underneath my chin. So now it's very hard for me to get any decent grips. Uh, so I'm going to work pretty hard to try to get my head back underneath. I block the shoulders, pummel my head through, and there we are. So now I'm in a much better position. Okay, so everything I'm trying to do is to bring Kirk forward. Okay, so watch. I get grips behind the, uh, the top of the, the tricep here, near the shoulders and I'm gonna pull with these grips to try and lift his, if I can get Kirk's hips to go forward here, that's great for me. Doesn't work too well, but it gives me something. As soon as I feel that doesn't work, so right now I felt that I, I'm not getting his hips forward, then my next aim, I'm gonna to have to clear this arm, is to try to close that gap, and hopefully I get a little bit further underneath him in doing that, okay? So I'm gonna clear the arm, and good. Okay, now I got the underhook. So you can see, I now have a better grip than I had a moment ago by simply, if we go back, trying to pull him forward, reacting to his resistance, and I, I can get underneath. So if you watch when he resists, he has to posture up. When I clear that arm, I've pulled him forward, he's pulling back, and there we go. I take that slight gap. Okay, now from the way Kirk is based here, I've got an underhook on my right side. I've got this overhook grip. I've actually got really good grips for the butterfly sweep but he's standing up on his right leg here. So that's a great base. I am not gonna be able to butterfly sweep him, but I can start to go for a half guard sweep. Okay, so he's actually got really good positioning for me. If I take my right hook out, I've already got my underhook. I can start working for the half guard sweep. So you're gonna see me switch to that in a moment. See, I've got my underhook here. I'm gonna put, pummel my head in and in a moment, feeding my left foot through here. And there we go. So I've gone for the half guard, and look what happens. Now Kirk's taken that leg back a bit. He's now resisting the half guard sweep quite well. He's really closing down on my on my underhook here and making it hard for me to get around the corner here. So I'm going to switch back to the butterfly. Okay, so see this leg now? No base coming out on this side. I'm going to attempt to hit that sweep now. Back to the butterfly, control the arm, and we get the butterfly sweep. All right, moving on. The next thing I want to show you, maybe slight advertisement again for my uh, new DVD that covers guillotines and a whole range. Of, really, it's 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 a whole bunch of front headlock choking systems that I that I use. Um, as soon as I get my head around, my arms around connected around someone's head, my aim is to is to finish. And it doesn't mean I'm always going to get the first move. The key is actually transitioning between different moves, which we'll see quite nicely here. So I get that. Uh, I'm in guillotine position, and I'm going to roll straight through to look for the anaconda once I actually connect my hands properly. I'm not going to go into extreme detail. You can check that out on the on the DVD, but we'll we'll go through a bit of it. So uh, more through the transition. So I'm going for the anaconda here, like this. Um, maybe I didn't feel, to be honest, I felt like in this one, Kirk's chin was too chucked in, tucked in. And I wasn't able to get onto his neck uh, too well. So one option would be to keep fighting for this. Um, I've actually decided to come up. And looking at his arm position here, it means I can actually come up and start feeding my right hand through for the das. I'm going to miss the das, but in him rolling out, it gives me the north-south. 
Okay, so if we look back one moment, just here. I'm going to really try and not let his elbow free as I come up for the DAS. Ready, boom. Okay, so here, I've got a, if I keep his head bent, I've got a good chance of catching the DAS. I've got to keep pressure on that arm so he can't roll out and flatten out, but he's going to... He's going to roll out, and I have to react to that. So his, his, his arm's going to swing to the other side, which actually opens him up to the north-south choke. Boom. Fell straight into place. A little bit of wiggling around, and the key with the north-south, when you know how to do it properly, is to be patient. So Kirk's trying to bluff me here that, that it's not getting him. Um, but we wait. I can hang out here for a while. I'm giving about 50% of my energy. And there we are. And then he, he says to me, I thought you were going to let go because he was trying to bluff me, but I wasn't. All right, hope you enjoy, guys. Uh, you can learn that whole system on my DVD.